Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack, or you can call me I Shinobi. Last two guys, last episode was freaking crazy. We saw Mustang take down Lust in one of the most like metal, no pun intended ways I have ever seen. That was like one of the craziest fights. One of my favorite fights in probably anime that I've watched so far, of course. I'm still relatively new to anime, but that was freaking insane. Just like the build up to it, it just worked out so perfectly. I just, I'm, I'm still not over it. I wa actually watched the episode one more time after I reacted to it, just because I don't know, it was just such a fire episode, like just from start to finish, like knowing of bradley's identity now and his place in things seeing him arrive and having that like gut feeling it's like oh no like he's there like he knows what's going on too it's just like everything worked together so well so we're gonna hop right in and then, of course and then ending the episode with ed seeing his estranged father at the gravesite like we're gonna hop right into it hello edward you appear to have grown some i spoke with panaco tried human transmutation <laughs> Just like cuts to the chase on everything. You, think you can show up like this. Nothing left for you here anymore. Oh my gosh. What possessed you to burn down my home? <laughs> Is that your home anymore, dude? You never turn back. You Do left. A symbol of our resolve. No, you didn't. You were hiding the memory. You didn't want to be reminded of what you've done. Thought you could erase the memory by destroying the evidence. You're wrong. It's just like a child who hides the sheets after he wets the bed. What is his place in all this, you dude? Ran away. Man, poor Ed. What the you heck? Know a damn thing. You make me sick to my stomach. He's exactly like I was when I was his age. Dude, like, I just, I don't understand him. He is the most confusing character to me. He just shows up out of the blue like this and just, I don't know. I was about to say he's awake, yeah. You haven't changed in the slightest all these years, and you look exactly the same. <laughs> Where have you been all this time? I still feel like he's sooner. like the father was waiting for of the Sens. The he looks so like from like the shot that we saw of him, he looks so much like him. But that I don't think that that would be like too on the nose. The life form my son's transmuted. Are you positive that it was Trisha? Well, I wouldn't. What? It didn't even look human to me. No, I wouldn't think of it as... No, that's not what I'm asking. Do you notice the eye color? The hair color? Huh? What are you trying to get Is he at? saying that they didn't? Are you telling me that that wasn't even Trisha? Or all that those boys sacrificed? You're saying that thing they created wasn't even their mother? No, wait, why is he saying that? Whoa. Wait. You don't sleep or eat? The is it true? Was it not? That's so cool. So you really are immortal then, huh? My brain hurts really bad. No, I'm not. My brain. This body, it's like a time bomb. Oh my gosh, they ow. mentioned something, and it made me realize that any type of body is incompatible with a foreign soul. It looks kind of sick with the... Together, the body will eventually reject it. I get it, it's because his jaw is gone, it but... happen tomorrow, ten years from now. It's inevitable that it will. That's horrifying oh, no. for... No, well, we've got to get you back in your regular body. What the, Winry? That's the goal! It's about to give out on you. Couldn't you just transfer your soul into some other object? Because if that's the case, then for the time being, well, you're impervious to pain and you don't have to eat. Don't sleep. Someone that's in the comments. Deal to me. No, it isn't. Jonathan said he doesn't sleep. Eight, he spends about. more than 80% more time awake than anyone else. That's terrifying, dude. I would hate not being able to sleep. Sleep is so fun. Naps are where you go to just escape and waking up. Just the birds outside. I like his manners. You and brother always gotta be the first to explode. I never get the chance to be the one to do that. <laughs> He's the mature one. It's just... I guess I can't fall asleep. I don't think this body will let me. Seeing how young she is and like realizing like how you're long... You're gonna get your body back. He's been in that body. It... Oh man. I know how long he's been in it, but it puts it into perspective. <laughs> You and I are exactly the same. We make monsters. <laughs> Why did you leave me here like this? There's way too much happening right now for my mind to keep up with. Your father's about to head out. Oh my gosh. This is overwhelming. This one. Do you mind if I keep it? The only photo we had taken with all four of us. Of course. You're welcome to it. 
I need to tell you something important, Panako. Something terrible is going to happen in this country soon. You should escape while you can. This country's lousy with <laughs> And I can't leave. Yo. Other people who need me the, in case they want uh, to come home. I love her. I've given you my warning. Oh, yo, she best not die. Hey, Owen, I'm wait. Try not to be such a stranger, all right? Yeah, actually. I just don't understand him, dude. I wish I could, Panako. It's too bad I won't get to enjoy your cooking anymore. You think she's definitely gonna die, or you're definitely gonna die? What? You're not really gonna dig it up, are you, Ed? <laughs> the body? Did his father plant Why some seed in, of doubt in his mind? Oh, his stumps are aching from the weather. Just hurry and do this. I, yeah, I think he's like, oh my god, like, he never thought that before, or he's like, no, it definitely couldn't be, but there's still, like, a thought in the back of his mind, like, dude, his, his dad is, he's manipulating him so hard. Like, he pointed out the house thing, and then said that, knowing Ed would be in earshot, and wants Ed to dig it up. Like, I feel like this is all part of a bigger scheme for him. I'm not gonna be able to move forward until I know for sure, besides, you ran away. I won't run away from this. It's like the weather is like another trial, like saying turn back, but he realized he has to push through. Dude. And that would take so long, dude. Digging is exhausting. Hair. Granny, mom's hair was a light chestnut color. This is black. This femur, it's much too long. And this pelvis, pretty sure it's male. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid this isn't your mother, Ed. What do you mean? <laughs> What's happening, dude? Uh... It really is impossible to bring the dead back to life. The undeniable truth. I just... <laughs> it was impossible all along. You gotta get a hold of yourself. I'm okay, Granny. The moment I made this thing, it's been a symbol of my despair. Not anymore. Now it's an emblem of hope. <sighs> Al can be returned to normal. It's Full like metal Ed knew, or his dad knew that it was never his mom. And he wanted Ed to know that, but not in a direct sort of way. I don't know. <sighs> Curtis Residence. I need to ask you something. It has to do with when you tried to transmute your baby. What Al and I transmuted. It wasn't actually our mother. What is this, Ed? What are you trying to tell me? Sorry to ask you this, but the child you transmuted? Are you sure that it was your child that you brought back? <laughs> That's rough to just ring her up with that, man. It's good to know my son and his wife helped people. I'm proud of them. Yeah, they were killed by Scar, dude. So Hohenheim, did he even bother to say where he was going? Of course he didn't. And I didn't a ah! What's wrong with me? I can't believe I forgot to give him the message. A last request from your mother. I'll be gone when he returns. Can you tell him something? I need him to know. I couldn't keep my promise. I died before he did. And I'm so sorry. That's kind of important! Promise. What promise? <sighs> You got me. Sorry to ask, but could you pass it on if you bump into him? It would have been like on my mind for years. I know it doesn't seem like it, but he does care about you and your brother. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass it on right after I clock him in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Heading back to Central already, are you? Where chaos you has unfolded without him. What the hell? There Sorry, you go. Brother, you, <laughs> the hell are you just beat up? <laughs> He's literally so messed what up, the though. What are you doing here? <laughs> Delicious dinner. Freaking Ling, dude. Seriously. Don't kick Ling what out. What happened to you? The homunculus. He's just the sitting trap. there. I'm gonna have to extend what little you have left of your armor. Actually worked. He'll be able to get his body back, right? Yeah, of course he will. What are we even trying? I'm gonna get it back. I've got to tell you something. I dug up the body that we transmuted in Resin Pool. Why would you do that? I found out that the thing we buried wasn't really our mother. Hold on a minute. Then that means... We made... I don't know what, but it was something completely different. But if it wasn't, then what happened to me? That's just it. This has actually convinced me we can return you to normal. But before I start explaining how... 
Well, uh, Winry, remember when Al and I got in a fight when we were kids about who'd marry you? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's still like... Al told me you turned him down. Turned you both down. Whatever. So the question's for both of you. What was your reasoning? I just don't like men who are shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> that scream, <laughs> bro. I don't really see how this has anything to do with getting Al's body back. Poor Ed. I had to be sure. Al had a memory of something I don't recall. You seem to clearly remember it the same way, Winry. It means that it happened without a doubt. And now that we know you remembered something real, then we also know for a fact that really is Al bonded in there. Yeah. I actually did it. No, it was only your soul, but that's just it. If I was able to pull that much of you out, then I've got a hunch. That pull your the whole thing still out. In there and I yeah. Can pull it out. Like Barry's body. It's crazy how. Oh, true, actually. Right. What did you see? It's crazy how, how much emotion you can see in Al without when the truth facial unraveled. features. I reached out, and it was me. It was my hand I grabbed. Doesn't look like we're done with the truth yet, Al. We're gonna get in there and pull your body out. I remember looking at you from inside that thing. The thing we thought was mom, but my soul didn't bind. It must have rejected me right away. Dude, so that means what is happening? Didn't harm anyone else's soul after all. It was just a creation. You have a telephone call from Izumi Curtis. Oh. Sig and I looked up our family lines. And well, the child that I transmuted, it couldn't. It didn't have a single physical trait that could have come from us. You're onto something, aren't you? It's crazy how he figured. I've come to the conclusion that death is permanent. Like he told her that. So like she hadn't realized that. Can change that fact. Wow, that's crazy. Ed. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. What a long-term development, though. Like, what a big find. And it's because of Hohenheim so that he found it out. I'm not really sure why, but she said, "Thank you." Maybe she can find more out now, though, with that information. Ma them being in Central just makes me uncomfortable, though, knowing how corrupt everything is. This entire time, I've been blaming myself for what happened. I thought I was the one who killed Mom a second time. So did I. Thanks, brother. Thank you. I wasn't the one who killed Mom after all. Man, a lot of peace for both of them. Like, all I guess all three of them. Actually, all four. I like I've been brought back to life. Yeah. Our child wasn't made to suffer twice. Because yeah, actually. Feels good, man. But still, none of this changes the fact that I'm the one who put you in that body. I don't care what it takes. But they I'm gonna make you normal. It feels like a like a breath of I fresh air right for them. With you, and I knew that they were risk. So quit trying to shoulder all of this on your own. I can't watch you suffer like this. I can't just stand back and watch other people get hurt over what I've done. Like what happened to Mr. Hughes. He's shouldering responsibility. I respect it. I felt it was my fault when Dude, I found out he was kid's dead. so mature. And I told myself that if it meant other people getting hurt, then I don't even want my body back. I've met other people who weren't exactly human, but they still managed to live their lives with a purpose. Greed was and still kind of a cool character. Body, it hasn't stopped other people from treating me like I'm still human. This body could reject me anytime, but it's the same with being human. You never know when you might get sick or die in an accident. I can live a somewhat normal life, and that's how I've managed to keep going. But now... I can't take it anymore. This feels like the beginning of a chapter. I can't. Like how someone said the last one likes it. I can't the... take all the nights by myself. It looks like he's crying. It's too lonely. Even though he can't. And that's why I have to get back to normal. Sure. And you're going to. Wow. We'll knock that truth jerk on his butt. And then we're going to pull your body right out of that place. Yeah. Like someone said the last one felt like the end of a part one. This feels like the beginning of a part two. Like, there's a new strut in his step, dude. That's weird. His shoulder's always been so broad. He's like a new person, dude. That was an ins- Dude, these episodes are crazy. That one, like, there's so much progression. Like, that is the biggest find I think that's been in the series. Like, the biggest discovery for them. Because it changes information that we thought was different in episode one. Like, it changes everything that they previously thought. That does feel like the beginning of a new chapter. Is them finding out that it was never even their mom. They couldn't have brought her back. It was some, like, weird kind of creation that they had made. My goodness. Well, that is the end of- what was that called father before the grave hohenheim seeming to play a very big part in helping ed along in discovering more kind of like it feels like it, it has to feel intentional that he gave him the steps to realize hey that was never actually like it feels like he's helping him even though he's even though to ed he still feels like this this pos that's like out of his life completely it still feels like he's nudging him along he's like okay go this way and you'll find this and you'll discover this okay go this way it's very odd how he's kind of like 
in the shadows lurking like that. I don't really know how much of a part he's going to play in the future. I imagine it to be big, especially since he seems to know something that no one else does, saying that this whole place is going to be like in ruins very soon. I don't know what to think of that. Again, guys, thank you for enjoying the series alongside me. Be sure to drop your comments down below on the episode, and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It's base.